guys, welcome to another What's in the Night Sky. This month it's March and it's the return of the Milky Way. Before I get started, I just want to apologise. I didn't get any vlogs out this month. I filmed a couple, but then I broke my Sony camera, so I sent that back to Sony. Broke my microphone, so I'm waiting for a new cable to turn up. And my favourite lens, the Samyang 24mm, is also in repair. So this month has just been a bit... <sighs> anyway, March begins on the 1st with a full moon. And it also ends with a full moon on the 31st, making it the second blue moon of 2018. Go figure. And last month I asked you guys to send me all your moon pictures. I'll be going through them at the end of the video. March is also full of planets. So we've got Jupiter, which rises at about midnight and it's quite bright. It's magnitude minus 2.3 at the moment. We've also got Venus, which is shining really bright. It's at magnitude minus 3.9. And you can see it for about an hour to an hour and a half just after sunset in the same direction as sunset and then venus itself will follow the sun below the horizon on the 18th you can see venus right next to mercury and a very thin crescent moon so if you've got a telephoto lens or a moon bazooka there's a really good opportunity for a photograph there we've also got mars and saturn these are morning planets at the moment so mars pops up at about 2 a.m Saturn rises at about 3 a.m. and they're both right in front of the core of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is finally back. I know some guys have been out in February capturing it rising from the horizon just before sunset but March is like the official start to Milky Way season for us here in the UK but you're gonna have to wake up early to go and see it unless you stay up really late because it doesn't come up until just before sunrise, about 4 a.m., 5 a.m. New Moon is on the 17th of March, and I think the window for Milky Way photos is about the 14th to the 24th, 25th. That seems to be the best window when you don't have the moon in the, the pre-dawn skies. So, good luck capturing the Milky Way this month. I know it's a favorite for many people. Now, February was really good for the zodiacal light, which is only going to get brighter in March which to some people is a good thing, to others it's a bad thing because it is a natural form of light pollution but this is an image I captured in the Elan Valley up in mid Wales and a couple of nights after that another image in the Clywen Valley which is like the next valley over so you get this nice triangular sort of diffused glow in the same direction as sunset just after twilight has finished being the, the, the optimum time to capture it. Also in March, not exactly a photographic opportunity, but on the 20th we do have the equinox, so we have equal amounts of day and night. Now, last month I asked you guys to share your moon photographs, use the hashtag Wittens, what's in the night sky. I was gonna feature some of my favorite ones, so I'm gonna look through those now. So, let's check Twitter. Uh, okay, we've got some pictures from New Moon by Scrumpy Head. I mean, they're lovely pictures, but it's like the total opposite of what I was asking for. Ronnie has posted a picture of the Winter Circle, which again is lovely, but it has nothing to do with the moon. Twitter, uh, Twitter, you've, you've really failed me here. I hope Instagram can, um, can save this segment of the What's in the Night Sky. Come on, 109 posts. Good job, guys, good job. I hope they're all moons. Ooh, light on the landscape with a crescent moon and some earth shine so you can see the unlit side of, of the moon. It's actually reflecting light from earth. That's why it's called earth shine. And you managed to squeeze the planet Saturn in there as well. Like that one. Kirkuchu at night at Kimmeridge Bay. It's got a nice little wide angle shot of the moonrise and I'm pretty sure that's Jupiter and Mars in there as well. Good job. Ooh. Paul, Paul Andrea, Paul Andrea photographer, doesn't have the moon in the image, but it's a real good use of the moonlight. Lovely composition in this black and white image. I like this one. Loco photo, I love sticking people in front of the moon. That's literally why I've just bought some, uh, just bought some walkie talkies, <laughs> is for this. Oh, Tim Graham. Nice one of the supermoon on January the 31st above a house. 
has a beautiful orange glow to it. Very nice. Chris Pomeroy, Dundee. Brilliant alignment there, just above whatever that is. Law Hill. Ooh, that's a real nice one. The image quality on this is great. D3 imagery, like the focus is, the exposure is perfecto. Michigan, nice. I like that one. Come on guys, what else have we got, what else? What else have we got? Yes, I was really hoping somebody would send one of these. So we've got by Craig Harvey, it's the Crescent Moon. A little bit of earth shine there as well, I think. Yes, Crescent Moon, a little bit of Earth shine, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. That is an awesome image. And I won't be surprised if that gets shortlisted in Astronomy Photographer of the Year this year. Good luck with that one, Craig. And it's also one of Craig's shots, which was my favorite. And it is this shot in front of a windmill. I'm not sure which windmill it is, but I absolutely love this image. You've got this gorgeous red color on the moon. And I know that it was Craig's third attempt at getting this image and I know exactly how he must have felt when he finally got there the third time and captured the image and saw it on the back of the LCD. Huge kudos to that, it's a gorgeous image and the perseverance has paid off. This month, even though the Milky Way is coming back, I don't expect you guys to wake up at 3am, 4am and it's not prime time for Milky Way just yet. So I think for this month's Wittens, I wanna see your photographs of, um, let's go with Zodiacal Light. I'd like to see your photographs of a Zodiacal Light, so just after sunset, look in the direction of sunset, and you should see a nice triangular diffused glow of light, and let's see how creative you guys can get with it. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will get some vlogs out soon, like I've said. I've already filmed a couple. I just need to find some time to put them together and release them. Thank you for tuning in. If you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies.